Hello my friends, this is Baal Kadmon, and I would like to thank you for watching and or listening to this podcast. Today I am going to supply you with one video, just like one random video that I just picked out from my upcoming course on Ancient Egypt about the decipherment of hieroglyphs. It's very short, and but it will give you a sample of what is to come in this course. And like I told you, there's like 90 lesson so far and it's still growing so there's probably going to be many more anyway i hope you enjoy it the decipherment part two in the previous video i discussed young and banks's contribution to the decipherment of hieroglyphs now that we have a good foundation to start from let us now discuss a french scholar by the name of jean francois champollion 1790 to 1832 and his contribution that ultimately deciphered the hieroglyphs. He wanted to be the one to finally open the black box that was hieroglyphs. Of course, during this time, Thomas Young was still pursuing the same thing. He did not just stop with what he discovered. So it was, as it were, a race to the finish line between them. They both helped each other out in some ways, but Champollion wanted all the credit. In 1822, he announced to the world that he had deciphered the hieroglyphs. He had one advantage over Jung, and that is that he knew Coptic, so he knew how some of the words may have potentially sounded. Here is where he made his great breakthrough. Chapollion's friend Jean Nicolas presented a set of four hieroglyphs to him for decipherment. Now he figured that the round disc was the sun, and that the two last letters are the folded cloths were an S sound. This we knew from Young's work. But here is where Chapollion went further. In Coptic, one of the words for the sun is Ra, so he figured that the sun disk made the sound of Ra. So he had Ra, Sis. What was this mysterious letter? I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. Anyway, knowing what he did about ancient Egyptian history, he knew that there was a series of kings named Ramses. Yes, there were several Ramses in history. We only focus on one, Ramses II, since he was the more interesting of the Ramses. Chapollion figured, and correctly so, that this symbol was an M sound. Lucky for us, it looks like an M as well. So this symbol, and it is a symbol, not a letter, made the MSS sound, or miss. And he knew that one of the Coptic words for birth was mise. He figured out that the name was Ramses, and that Ramses, or Ramses, meant born of Ra. He did this a few times with other names that had this symbol, and it turned out to be correct. He also discovered the name of Thutmosis that also had this symbol. This was truly a breakthrough, but he didn't stop there. He then slowly parsed through the hieroglyphs, coupling it with his knowledge of Coptic and the Egyptian vocabulary started to grow. He published all these findings in 1824. If it were not for Champollion and Young, for that matter, we would be way behind in our decipherment and understanding of ancient Egypt. These were two people who dedicated nearly every waking moment to this. In fact, Champollion, after so many sleepless nights, was spent that when he rushed to proclaim his discovery, he fainted from utter exhaustion. Okay, now that we covered so much in the last few videos, we now have a good foundation to now tackle hieroglyphs themselves. See you in the next video. There you have it, my friends. Just a random video that I just literally threw a dart at and I said, okay, this is the one we're going to put out today. And it's just a sample of what is to come of my course on ancient Egypt. And it's going to cover so much. And this is just video two of, of part two, rather, of the decipherment of hieroglyphs, which is in a broader section. It's uh, section three, actually. And I tried to make the videos discreet in the sense that if you didn't watch the previous one, you still can get something out of the subsequent ones and that's how I tried to structure all my courses and even my books I, I, I tried to make it that if you just dropped into the middle you would still get something out of it even if you didn't 
read or listen to the rest of it. I tried to do that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have this in pre-release in a few weeks. And I think you will really, truly enjoy it. Anyway, I will speak to you soon. I hope you are well. So mote it be.